Minasan konnichiwa, this is David and Nina. And today we are unboxing the HG Gundam The End. <laughs> Mina does not like this the This is not the my end. favorite kit. No. Um, I, I, I was like on the fence about it, but I actually like some of the pictures I've seen of it. So I'm... I, I ultimately I like the gimmick. I like the way yeah. it looks inside, but... Yeah. Okay, so here's our box art. It is, it's a big kit. It actually was a little bit more than any of the other basic Build Fighters kits. Because um, it's, you know, it's got a lot of stuff going on. Um, oh, and this is a side, if you didn't already know. We're pushing back the contest um, until the middle of June. Yeah. Uh, we had some stuff come up, so... Japan happened. Yeah, Japan happened. All right. So, first thing I see, lots of stickers. This disappoints the crap out of me, but whatever. Oh, man, the purple part? Yeah, it looks like they were trying to save some money there. Clearly. Huge sticker sheet. Um, lots of lots of stickers. Uh, all of the sub faces. Um, even the V-fin, it looks like on the hidden part. Um, and then pretty much anything that's in pink on the main kit. That's a shame, but we'll see how it turns out. Okay, we have these, which are the extenders for the arms. Huh. The guns are two-piece kits, apparently. Um, that's interesting. Um, and then here's mostly frame stuff. I hate those revolvers. They're ugly. They, <laughs> they're they ugly whenever they were on the Gundam Maxter. They're ugly now. They break the kit for you, huh? They, they really do. Wow, look at those panels. Those are huge. Mm. That needs paint. What, who would put fucking stickers on that? That's absurd. <laughs> these are, these are really wrong. heavily textured. Uh, those those would do really well with paint. So I'm gonna I'm not even gonna fuck with the stickers. Uh, <laughs> honestly, the it looks really nice. Mm. Um, and this is not black. Um, for whatever it's worth. No, it's not. No, it's a deep deep brown. It's a neat color. It's it's good stuff. I'm supposed to toss out a word for whatever that color is. Right? Yes, because colors is girl stuff. Call it soil. <laughs> so here's our light purple uh, pieces. That's actually a nice color. I like that. Um, also, ironically, it looks the panels all look reminiscent of Double O. Um, the way that the edges are and everything, mm -hmm. even though it's clearly inspired by the Devil Gundam. Um, <laughs> the sub faces. Oh my God, the the uh, the extra faces. Those are creepy and big. Yeah, this is this has got a lot of nice big panels. So if you wanted to do customization and decals and stuff, this is the place to go. This right. is good stuff. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna get ooh that red, the face that is intense. That's <laughs> a really good red. And then more of that not black brown stuff. Um, and then our other hand faces. That's so weird to be able to say. Polycaps? I just, just don't poly get caps. it. I just don't get it. I'm trying. I'm trying to be open-minded. But... Here is the, the expansion guy, the, the little Gundam that goes inside of it. Um, it's really neat looking. Um, the hand is really intensely detailed for what it is. Um, it's all one piece, but it's um, it's really cool. It's got a lot of got a lot of um, sorry depth to it. You know what it is? It's like somebody was like, I want like eighty five million gimmicks, and I'm gonna push them all into one god. <laughs> well, that's sort of that's, that's um, the thing. character's thing. That that's the that's saga's thing. thing. Okay, and so here we have our fingers uh, and our hands. Um, those fingers, they look really cool. They're big and sharp. It's like somebody asked an eight-year-old to design the most perfect Gundam ever. That's sort of Saga's role in the whole thing, <laughs> isn't it? And if you like it, I'm not saying you're an eight-year-old. I'm just saying it's not for me. But you might be an eight-year-old. I don't know. You could be. There's nothing wrong with being eight. And of course, we do know that it is um, inspired by the Devil Gundam. Also, the Death Scythe. Um, that, that makes sense. I could see it. I mean, the wings yeah. definitely are yeah. pulled off of the Death Scythe. Here's and, another one of my not-favorite kits, so it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, okay. So their, their advice technique here is to use um, red tissue paper to build the cape. Check that out. Oh, Kali! 
Yeah, I think that actually would add a lot to the kit. Um, that's something we might have to consider doing. Yeah, I think so. No, I like that. Um, and then it's got all kinds of gimmicks. Um, it's got <laughs> little guy coming out. Um, it's got all kinds of stuff. And that little guy, he's uh, all stickers. So he's white with stickers. So that needs to be fixed. Mm. All right. Um, he's going to be a project. Yeah, he. I think he is going to require a lot of work. Um, but I think he's going to really pay off um, once we've got him finished. Mm. All right. So there we go. There's Gundam the End. And um, Matane, everyone. We're going to put this together and see you soon.